Hi, and welcome to another episode of Raja Talking Life. Since on this channel, I talk about life and its challenges and provide you with strategies and practical solutions that can help you overcome it and be happy and live a fulfilled life. Today, I'm going to be talking about a recent experience that I have been going through and it made me think why this particular experience was extremely difficult for me. So today I want to talk about a recent experience that impacted me negatively and made me think this is not the first time that I go through this experience. So how come that my response to it was negative and I was affected by it more than the previous times? So the, pre the experience that I want to talk about is power outage. You know what? Things like this happen, not daily, maybe on a daily basis in certain parts of the world, maybe occasionally and maybe more often. However, for me, it has affected me a lot because I just moved to a new province in Canada. I moved recently from Ontario to Quebec and I have not even settled in this new place. And that made me realize that how we deal with negative experiences, even if it was the same experience, at different ages of our lives, at different environments, at different places, uh, with a different social connection, it made a huge difference on how I responded, and I'm pretty sure that's the case for all of us, on how we respond to negative experiences, even if it's the same thing. I lived in Kuwait, we had power outages uh, during the war. Then I lived in Nova Scotia where we had power outage again and that lasted for a month due to hurricane. And then now in Quebec, I am dealing or I have had to deal with an ice storm that hit a couple of weeks ago and rendered most of the city and the citizens in it without power. Naturally, without power, <laughs> it comes with no hot water, no heat, because in my new place, everything is powered by electricity. And then I could not use my phone as well and that was the most upsetting for me that I, before I moved, I purchased a big plan with 150 gigs uh, of data and I couldn't use that. So I felt I was trapped. I didn't know what's going on in the outside world. There was no one to connect with. I just moved here to the area. I had tons of flashlights and batteries and everything because in Halifax, in Nova Scotia, this is a must. However, everything was packed in boxes and I didn't have anything to help me to light the house during this time. In addition, it was minus 10, it was freezing cold, I had to use four layers of blankets and wearing sweaters and socks. So you get the idea. This may be not what made me frustrated about this experience. I believe that we at different stages of our lives have different needs and maybe at one point we have more of a medical need towards something. 
And when you don't have electricity, that means you cannot charge the devices that you rely on to not i'm not talking about phones here yes it's annoying not to be able to connect and have phones however the devices that some people depend on it for example someone i know that uh, depends on the sleep apnea machine they couldn't use that during a power outage for me as I have been talking about the tinnitus and the solutions that I have been trying to deal with it and get some relief from that suffering, I depend heavily on sound therapy and using noise in the background. Of course, I couldn't do that. I couldn't charge my hearing aids, which again, they help me deal with tinnitus. And for that, this experience was a lot worse for me and my reaction to it was more severe and more negative than previous experiences. And the reason for me filming this video today is I want to, get, to tell you about out of all of this, and this whole experience, the most important thing that I found that we need when we go through negative experiences is community. Like the experience in Kuwait with the war and the power outage and there was no gas and long lineups and all kind of hardship that I went through through the war, what helped me get through that is that I was born and raised there. I had family around me. I had extended family. I had friends. So that helped me deal with the impact of the war. And then in Nova Scotia, I have been there for probably 14 years when the hurricane hit. So between us, where someone had power and water, we would go there and take a shower or a charge phones or do whatever we need to do for work, for example. However, this recent experience was the toughest and hardest for me to deal with because I had no support whatsoever. I just moved to Quebec, I have no social network, no friends. I didn't even know how to connect to anyone because my phones weren't working. I didn't have, my data wasn't working. The, powers, uh, the power uh, lines and towers were down. So all of it together, it impacted me tremendously. So I think that's an important lesson as well for me to, to learn is the importance of connecting with others and establishing healthy and positive relationships. Because if I had those, then I would have been able to go to that friend, even if I drove to their house and see if they had power and help me maybe charge my phone, charge my uh, devices. So that's, that's why I wanted to get this out there. Whatever you do, don't be alone. Try to have some healthy and positive relationships in your life. You can be alone whenever you want. You can do whatever you want. However, keep those relationships in your life. Don't disconnect from all of them, particularly the good ones, because during crisis, during negative experiences, that's what's gonna carry you through that experience. Thank you, I just wanted to share those thoughts with you. I wish you never have uh, to deal with any natural disaster or war or any negative experience in your life. Thank you so much, let me know 
your thoughts. How did you deal with any of these negative experiences if, in your life and whether you had a community and close friends that help you get through it? Thank you. Be blessed. Be kind. I'll talk to you and I'll see you in the next video. God willing. Bye-bye.